welcome back to the channel, folks. This is a great article out of Zero Hedge this morning. The real original source came from musclecarsandtrucks.com. I'll link to both of the articles. But essentially what it is about is the Biden infrastructure bill has a little piece of legislation in there mandating vehicle kill switches for 2026. So essentially what they have done is um, they have mandated all automakers install a vehicle kill switch in your vehicle new vehicle by 2026 and this is of course to fight off drunk driving uh, essentially what the car will do is it will monitor your behavior and it will shut the car down if uh if you're doing something that the the authorities don't like this is a big point on the electric vehicle movement i am i'm super pro electric vehicle like back in 2010 i had the uh, who killed the electric car documentary, really cool documentary. It's kind of like, you know, why did Chevy have like a really cool car? And then they like literally crushed them. It's called the EV2. And I was like, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, electric cars have their place. I mean, m you know, range on electric car makes a lot of sense for most daily driving for most people. It's not the solution end all be all for everything. Um, but an electric car makes it immensely easy to control the vehicle. I mean, think no throttle cables, no throttle position sensors, no gas tank, no coolant, none of those things in, in the vehicle. So moving electric makes total sense as far as the ability to autonomously control vehicles. But before we can autonomously have vehicles just running around doing their thing, the government wants on all vehicles, regardless, by 26, a vehicle kill switch. Do you see the game? Like, do you, do you, do you see the game? I think this audience sees the game. Uh, it is continually an attack on your liberties and your freedoms to limit your movement. Full stop. You remember like when, when we had to like now pre 2001, we could just like fly in airlines and like get some food on there and like bring a drink on there. And like, if you had a bottle of shampoo, so, you know, keep the beard looking good. It was cool. Like you were, everything was cool. And then after 2001, it was like, please do the freedom pose. Please kids. Can everybody do the freedom pose? Yeah, do the American freedom pose. Yes, the American freedom pose. And you're like, okay, uh, all right. And people just accepted it. They went along with it. And then 2020 came, the next crisis, a generation later. And now it's like, everybody, please, uh, you know, install your, your face diaper. People are walking on this airline and keep it on. Keep it on or you will be on the no-fly list. See, this is a continual attack by the Leviathan, which is our massive growing government on an attack on your civil liberties, and very few people give a shit about what is happening. And I think it's interesting. This is an interesting story. I can tell you I won't own any cars after 26 that are built after 26. I will just be getting the oldies, um, which I'm, I am I want anyway. I've got like a goal here in the next few years. I've never owned a, a car car. I've always had trucks. I, I really want a 69 Camaro. So I, I kind of speculate that the used car thing may actually just continue ripping higher and maybe uh, used cars will just, will just never drop in price <laughs> because... Those are the ones without government tracking uh, AI on them. But nonetheless, pretty interesting story. Pretty interesting that it's in the infrastructure bill. That was a bipartisan effort that was passed on November 15th of 2021. So both parties came together to pass a trillion dollar Gibbs bill. Essentially like you get a, you get a billy, you get a billy. You know, there's a thousand billies to give out on a trilly. Um, so, and in there is, you know, just a little piece like, hey, automakers, by 26, we want a vehicle kill switch because drunk driving. <laughs> and so uh, it's just absolutely hilarious. This is a bigger plan. This is a larger plan. This is a big, big, big plan by the global elites to limit movement of the normies. They do not want people, the average man, to have any control over his own life. They want them completely tied into the system, completely reliant on whatever medical procedures they have to do. And they want all of their data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Personally, I don't think it's going to work. I just, I just, in this country, if they had, yeah, I mean, maybe it could. You know, the estrogen levels in, in North America are pretty high amongst most men. Uh, the body weight mass index is pretty high. I mean, most of them are pretty indebted. You're almost at that spot where our society will just bend over and, and, and just take it. But I think that we probably still have the three to 5% necessary to say nah and possibly remove. And you, you can know where I'm going with that. So I, I do think that that's probably a very likely scenario. 
if they continue on this path, but they've been slow rolling it enough. If you think from 2001 to 2020 to 2026, they're speeding up the, the rate at which they steal st civil liberties. Uh, and they do still have you in their dollar system. So they can cancel your bank account anytime they want. Your credit cards can stop working anytime they want. Remember theft and all that stuff and fraud and all that good stuff. And so they can do that. Most people are tied into the electrical grid. Most people need food. Most people need, you know, that show their papers. You got your papers? Yes, master. I got my papers. You got to have your papers. In some areas, especially in Canada right now, there's one province where you have to have your papers to go buy food at the grocery store. So this is where we're going. People like me have been saying, hey, yo, wake up, get ready, because um, there might be a small sliver of the population that says, nope, no more. And if we have to go through that period, it's going to be a really crappy 20 years. It's going to be a really, really crappy 20 years. Um, but it would probably be worth it if it stopped and delayed the Leviathan from continuing to take more and more civil liberties. So do what you guys can. I am in the comments. I would love to hear your inputs on this. Uh, and this is another reason why I push the uh, really the importance of owning private forms of payment so that you can buy assets that maybe later on uh, will be harder to obtain. This is silver. This is gold. This is private cryptocurrencies. Um, I can help you along in that process. If you're doing an order over $1,500, I can help you. I'm a dealer for precious metals. Um, if you're doing a smaller order, I have links below and you can just literally order them up. And like the laws around precious metals are really, really cool. Um, it's how the wealthy move about the financial system and uh, basically untraced. But the normies don't don't do this. They just stay in plugged into the system. They stay like completely like compliant and they just allow liberty after liberty after liberty to just continue to just dissipate on them. And uh, it's really sad. It's really it's really super sad to watch it happen. But hey. What you gonna do, right? What you are gonna do and what I'm gonna do is continually fight for my liberties by making myself more anti-fragile and making myself more sovereign. And so I know one thing I'll be doing, which will be stocking up on cars that are older and are not tracked. And I'm not even down with the OnStar stuff. I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty like, you know, I'm, I'm about the old school diesels at this point. I'm, I'm on that. So anyway, guys, I will set you guys, I'll check you guys out in the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subs. And uh, as always, have a great one.